Oh hi, I'm the heretic. Gun control is going to die. Thanks to innovations in the private sector, gun control legislation will be completely unenforceable, making it impossible for the state to stop you from gaining the means to defend yourself from criminal thugs. Now, what am I talking about? On May 6, 2013, Cody Wilson, a crypto anarchist, founder of Defense Distributed, released the Liberator, the world's first 3D printed gun. The Liberator is a simple, single-shot plastic handgun, named after the FP-45 Liberator, a mass-produced single-shot handgun designed to be mass-dropped in Axis-occupied territory during World War II for use by resistance fighters. After two days on the internet, the United States State Department had the downloads for the Liberator removed, on the grounds that Defense Distributed were exporting munitions illegally under International Traffic and Arms Regulations, or ITAR. Defense Distributed then teamed up with the Second Amendment Foundation to sue the State Department, arguing that their First and Second Amendment rights were being violated. On July 10th, 2018, the Second Amendment Foundation and the U.S. Department of Justice came to a settlement, the government agreeing to allow Defense Distributed to publish 3D printed files, as well as pay their attorney's fees and return $10,000 in dues owed from Defense Distributed to the State Department. Perhaps more importantly, the government acknowledged that all non-automatic firearms up to 50 caliber are not military weapons. Yes, this includes the scary AR-15s. So on August 1st, 2018, the CAD files for 3D printing the Liberator and other firearms were scheduled to be available, again, on the internet for download across the world. Activists and the priesthood of statism are hard at work trying to stop this. Attorneys General from the states of Washington, Connecticut, Maryland, New Jersey, New York, Oregon, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and Washington, D.C. are all suing to get the government to block Defense Distributed from putting their files on their website. And their efforts bore fruit. Tuesday, July 31st, U.S. District Judge Robert Lasnik issued a restraining order to prevent Defense Distributed from publishing their blueprints until a new hearing come August 10th postponing their original scheduled release on August 1st. Too little too late. In the two days the Liberator's blueprints were online, 100,000 people downloaded them, and even more have downloaded it off of GitHub in the Pirate Bay. This story has gone viral, and the more the state tries to stop it, the more they call attention to this revolution of personal freedom. The more the state tries to stop this, the more impetus to continue Cody Wilson's work there is, and continue, we shall. Defense Distributed will inspire a new generation of crypto anarchists to make their own gun blueprints, and thanks to encryption, VPNs to conceal our IP addresses, and cryptocurrency to hide our transactions, they will never know who has a 3D printed gun, how they got it, or where they are. The difference between your owning a gun or not will have nothing to do with whether or not you can pass a background test or go through a waiting period. It's a simple question of your access to a 3D printer and a single computer file. Fundamentally, you will be able to own a gun without needing permission. Senator Bill Nelson, Democrat from Florida, proposed legislation to make it illegal to knowingly publish blueprints for 3D printed guns. Even Donald Trump jumped in, saying the selling of 3D plastic guns doesn't make much sense. We have the government on the run. They are playing catch-up with our ability to innovate away their control over our lives. My fellow heretics, we now live in a time where the means to protect our families and property will be as easy as downloading a song. There is no stopping this. Judge Lastnick's ruling is a speed bump. You can't put the genie back in the bottle. Political science professor Robert Spitzer said, Who would benefit from having a gun that's untraceable? The answer is, criminals and the criminally minded. The aforementioned Senator Bill Nelson said, 
These 3D printed plastic firearms can evade our detection systems and are a direct threat to our national security. Senator Richard Blumenthal, another Democrat, said, These ghost guns are a menace. The failure to ban them will mean blood on the hands of officials who have that responsibility. Now, many people will argue against 3D printed guns because they want guns out of the hands of criminals and the mentally ill. As laudable as that is, an armed population prevents crimes with their guns 2 million times a year. An armed population is a population that doesn't have their children sentenced to be murdered by judges because they personally dislike the family's attorney. An armed population isn't plundered by their government for the value of their property because they can't meet a budget. The district and circuit courts consistently ruled against defense distributed. Now why would they do this? According to Harvard Law Review, Judge Pittman found the plaintiffs, defense distributed, failed to show the harms of denying the injunction to stop State Department regulations would outweigh those of granting it. Judge Davis considered that, ordinarily, protection of the plaintiffs, defense distributed, constitutional freedoms would be the highest public interest at issue, but the court found that, here, the need to prevent foreign nationals from obtaining files to print untraceable weapons lies squarely within the public interest in national defense. The courts freely acknowledge that constitutional rights are being violated, but that's okay because it's all for the greater good. How can this be for the greater good? The greater good. Shut it! This should terrify all of us. The courts are telling us that our rights only exist as far as they do not impede on the public interest. And this public interest, this fictional entity, empowers these lawyers with robes to determine that computer code isn't free speech. The government spent five years doing everything they possibly could to stop innovation because they know that decentralization will finally put the state in its place, six feet under the ground. They're merely delaying the inevitable, but make no mistake. In Florida, Governor Rick Scott passed a risk protection order allowing people to be deprived of their gun rights if they believe that the owner is a risk to themselves or others. Now, how do they know if they're a risk? Who knows? The state has a vested interest in making sure you're a victim for criminals, so you will enslave yourself for their honeyed promise of safety. Recognize your right to keep and bear arms. Though the official release of the blueprints is postponed, celebrate Second Amendment Day. Every August 1st, we shall never... Let the gun-grabbing authoritarians forget that they lost. No amount of demagoguing, propaganda about keeping us safe, or false flag shootings will change the fact that now, and for all time, gun control and gun monopolization in the hands of the state is now completely impossible. Because one crypto-anarchist was able to do with technological innovation what the NRA could never do through decades of the democratic process. I wonder what other examples of statist authoritarianism we can innovate out of existence. And no, Trump, nobody is selling 3D printed guns. We're downloading them, moron. Questions? Comments? Critique? Show me your Second Amendment Day memes with the hashtag Second Amendment Day. Also, credit to Postal Cat for the idea. Link to his channel and the original video in the description. Support me through Patreon or a one-time donation on Ko-Fi. Like, share, and subscribe to become a heretic today.